Welcome back everybody, this is Liz Marino 300 speaking, I hope all y'all enjoyed the previous video, I enjoyed making and editing it. Um, I know video production has gone down <clears throat> in the past week, so I hope to get a lot of done, uh, I, I hope to get a lot done this video and I'm going to be trying to stream more often. Right, let's jump right into this everyone. Do that at the end. Right. So, new thing, as in everyone's inventory, this. I shall gladly accept your invitation. Wait a minute. I don't have the island unlocked. Are you kidding me? This is the... <laughs> okay. Just a moment. I don't have the island and look. Oh no. Right, we shall go for a little bit of exploration now. 2k meters. Yay. Oh, okay. This is the place, are you gonna bring it to me bring me to it or no, we're just we're just gonna go around it. Yeah, that's all good too. Okay. Whoa! We so this is the venue, huh? Not half bad. Well, here you are. Ah, don't you worry, Jack Attack. Boys. We'll find that dog, even if it's hiding in Tenchu Kaku. Voices! Ito, it's just a myth. Whoa, compadre! And Paimon! See, <laughs> You finally made it! Oh, man, have I missed you guys. Ah, <laughs> Oh, yeah, and this is Dvorak, a musician from Fontaine. Jack Attack, you know these two, right? Hey, Mr. Dvorak, it's you! <laughs> ah, it's so wonderful to see you both again. I feel like that lantern right was just yesterday. How have you been? Pretty good! So how did you end up hanging around with Ito? Is he helping you with the iridescence tour now? Oh, you better believe it, Minnie Melon. But that's only half the story. It's the other this half. is no ordinary iridescence tour. Me and Jack Attack are teaming up to turn this into the iridescent Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness. Rockin' for Life? What? what do you know about rock and roll, Bullchucker? Huh? What, you never heard of Bullchucker rock before? Moo, moo, moo! <laughs> Don't try and understand it, Mini Melon. It'll melt your mind. It's about letting loose. Come on, give what? us some lavender melon rock. Okay, speak for yourself, mister. Sounds like you're the one whose mind is melting. Just to backtrack a little, what's this dog you were talking about? <laughs> Just a local legend I heard about. Apparently, there was a war between the islands of Narukami and Watatsumi not too long ago. Is that right? Such a waste. When will people learn? Make rock and roll, guys. Not war. Uh, a tragedy, to be sure. Countless animals were affected by the fallout. A raven, a bakadanuki, a weasel thief, and many more sustained injuries. Hmm. Okay. Um, fair point. The animals didn't deserve that. But I'm not to downplay it or anything, but didn't even worse stuff happen than that? In the eyes of a rocker, all living things are equally important. So did this dog, dog get injured too? No. The story goes that this dog was something like a ninkin. It would show up out of nowhere in the middle of a battle to rescue the injured animals and take them to safety. Wait a minute. Rockin and rolling to the rescue! A king among canines! Mm. Woo! <laughs> There'll always be a place for him in the Arataki gang. Enrito. I was actually there while the war was going on. 
It inspired me to write a song about it. I was even planning to host a music festival around the same theme, but unfortunately, uh, I couldn't convince my investors. Oh yeah, I heard all about that. They claimed they had to cancel their plans because of an accident at sea, but <laughs> that was just a lame excuse. Uh, yes, they weren't optimistic about the potential return on investment. Plus, I don't know, there seemed to be some other risks they were worried about. What kind of risks? Good question. Risks only apparent to people with Mora to throw around, I suppose. I agree. <laughs> when people have too much Mora, they lose their rock and roll spirit. They do, huh? So what do you mean by rock and roll spirit anyway? Uh, you know, the spirit of, uh, you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches, <laughs> and that sort of stuff. Definition, aren't the investors the most rock and roll people in this scenario? Anyway, point is, those chumps are out, and Arataki Ito is in. I'm running the show from here on out. Oh, yeah, right! How are you gonna fill in for the investors? Do you even have any more? I have faith in Ito. He tells me that the Arataki gang is a small but well-known and influential organization in this area, and has even been known to rub shoulders with the local authorities. Isn't that right? Rub shoulders is putting it mildly. More like they're always locking horns. Hey, don't look down your nose at the Arataki gang. I got connections, all right? Even the track commission listens to what I have to say. Okay, Mr. Big Shot, whatever you say. <laughs> you can doubt it all you want, Mini Melon, but it's the truth. You know that guy in the Yashiro Commission? Well, he and I are officially bros. That's right. I'm talking about Toma, housekeeper extraordinaire. And there's the general from the Tenryo Commission, Kujo Tengu. I mean, sure, we're always ribbing each other, but it comes from a place of deep mutual respect. Mutual? Yeah, Paimon's not so sure about that. So what about the Ken Kenjo Okay, mission. fair. No first name contacts there. But the Arataki gang is a big contributor to the revenue stream. All those fines we pay. Uh, fines? Huh? Yes. No! Uh, I meant, I mean, the uh, uh, taxes. <laughs> yeah. But that's not all. Let's not forget my contacts outside of the Tri-Commission, huh? Amazing, talented people from all walks of life. Like, uh, oh, like the TCG legend, Ayato. Oh, yeah. He's made quite a name for himself in the TCG circles. In fact, they got a saying now. Ayato of the South... Ito of Where did the he North. Pull that comb <laughs> from? <laughs> That's right. I'm the only serious competition he's got in all of Inazuma. Did Did you make that saying up? Then there's the Fox Lady, VIP customer of Yukio's ramen stall and fellow participant in the Ramen Masters Championship. I was her only worthy opponent. Also, you know that lonely god in Tenchukaku? Well, guess what? Turns out it was her lifelong wish to catch one of Arataki Ito's events. During the Drum Along Festival, the Tenryo Commission were worried that their almighty shogun might have too much fun and lose interest in running the government. That's why they invited me over to stay for a couple of days. Wow, look at you! Sounds like you're really going up in the world. At this rate, you'll have made shogun by the next time we see you! And then Paimon will have to call you almighty bullchucker! The Arataki gang never ceases to amaze. Um, well... I'll admit, I heard a few exaggerations there myself, but regardless, Ito has helped me secure a venue for this event, and for that, I owe him my thanks. Ah, it's nothing. Don't mention it. My bro Goro sorted it all out for me. Let's both go thank him later. Wait, you know Goro? Yep, I always knew him as General Goro of the Resistance Fighters, but I had no idea there was more to the story. Turns out, he has another identity. You've, uh, heard of Miss Hina, right? Miss Hina? So you... Hey, no need to yell, all right? Yes, Miss Hina. She's the one who told me. After falling for the Tenryo Commission's tricks at the Drum Along Festival, I figured I'd find a new location this time, somewhere out of their reach, like, uh, here, for example. So I wrote Miss Hina a letter 
asking if she knew anything about the procedure for holding an event on Watatsumi Island. She wrote me back right away and said I could ask Watatsumi Island's general for help, and that his name was Goro. I was like, what? General Goro is the general of all Watatsumi Island? <sighs> that was close. Paimon's with you now, but what did you think general meant? What do you mean? Isn't it like one general per squad or something? That's called a captain. Really? Huh. Well, either way, if it wasn't for Miss Hina, I never would have known. Pretty rock and roll, huh? <laughs> All right. Good chat, compadre. I just remembered I got a meeting with Goro coming up. Gonna ask him about that dog situation. Gonna have to love you and leave you for now. <laughs> you guys focus on having a blast here at the festival. I think I can handle this little canine conundrum. I don't think There's you will. There's still a few days left until the big party, so not everything's set up yet. But, uh, the jam zone and the roasted lavender melon zone are ready for action. What? Have fun, compadre. Got a dash. Okay. <sighs> what a character. Kind of admire his enthusiasm, though. Well, it looks like it's just the three of us for now. Why don't I show you the jam zone to start with? Okay, sure. The Avenged. I'm not saying the title of that. Here we are. I've supplied musical scores and instruments from various Ooh. regions, including a horn I personally brought from Fontaine. You can play whatever music you like. Uh... If you get tired, the roasted lavender melon zone is just over there. Ito says that lavender melons are <clears throat> rock and roll fuel. So what do you think? Want to give it a try? Hey, cut that out! Oh, lucky Ito's gone, otherwise Paimon would never hear the end of it. Let's change the topic. What other fun stuff is there to do here, Mr. Dvorak? Well, we're planning to invite some more music enthusiasts, and we're still getting some supplies together, so we can decorate the place a little. But it could take some time. The Arataki gang has shifted their focus to the dog situation ever since I brought it up. Okay. Only one of them is actually sticking to the plan. Her name is Kuki Shinobu. She's out delivering invitations right now. Oh, Shinobu! Yep, that's Kuki. the Arataki okay. gang for you. Everyone else goofs around. Well, Shinobu gets things done. We should help out. We can't let this event get totally derailed when Shinobu's out there doing her part. Oh, I mean... Well, are you sure? Obviously. That uh, would be extremely useful. We're starting to get behind schedule, and a couple extra pairs of hands could make all the difference. No problem. We're happy to help. So you need us to find some music lovers and gather materials for decorating, was that it? Exactly. According to the original plan, we aim to finish everything in five days, and then the big party can begin. Five days. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, give me a second, I'll make you a checklist of all the outstanding tasks. That way it all be clearer. Oh, also, one other tidbit to share with you? Ito is planning to perform a song on stage on the final day of the event. Ugh, uh, typical yeah. bull chucker always has to be the center of attention. Oh, Paimon would steal the show for sure! No one would give Ito a second look after that! Pretty Very sure he'd yell out, Paimon's so rock and roll it hurts! And then he'd run off the stage, bawling his eyes out! <laughs> Those are some bold claims, Miss Paimon. But that kind of confidence would serve you well on the stage. Paimon's just kidding. Anyway, we'll be ready for that checklist as soon as it's done, Mr. Dvorak. Great. Feel free to take a look around. I'll bring it over in a few minutes. Thank you.
Well, well, Nobu. well. If it isn't the traveler and pine. Wow, Shinobu and Hazo. What a surprise! So... <laughs> this truly is a pleasant surprise. Although, not that surprising, to be honest. I was just telling Miss Shinobu that I had a sneaking suspicion we might run into you. You know, <laughs> Enzo. Yay. <laughs> Doshin Shikanoin was talking about you constantly the whole way here. I guess the universe answered his prayers. Eh, it's called intuition. Mm. Names pop into my head at relevant moments, just the way my mind works. Paimon sure wasn't expecting Heizo to be the first one to show up. Oh. Boss nagged me to prioritize the Tenryo Commission invitations. He specifically requested Madame Kujo Sara and Doshin Shikanoin. So, why isn't Sara here? <sighs> Almost certainly because she has no desire whatsoever to see Ito. In her defense, here's what was written on the invitation letter. Kujo Tengu, come meet me at the top of the Sanganamiya Shrine. Let's go nuts and have a totally rock and roll sumo wrestling match. If I were Kujo Sar, I'd jump at the chance to throw Ito off the roof. But then wouldn't Kokumi come and throw Sara off too? All that stamping around on her roof, the noise would drive her crazy! Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, Madame Kujo Sara's response was much more magnanimous than mine would have been. She gave us a basket of lavender melons to bring as a gift. Magnanimous? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Something tells me she's trying to send a message. What message? If that Oni brat wants to pick a fight with me, there will be plenty of lavender melons waiting for him at the police station. Mm, maybe the fact you assume that says more about you than her. So what about the other basket of lavender melons, huh? Is that one from you? What message are you trying to send? <laughs> the other basket is actually from a few of us at the police station. I chipped in, and so did some other Doshin who've arrested Ito before, and so did some of Ito's oh. former cellmates. So, I guess this basket of lavender melons is our way of saying, there'll always be a place for you here. Uh, maybe just give Boss the melons and don't mention that part? Sure. Well, my work is done here, anyway. Now that I've delivered the lavender melons and said hello to the traveler, I should probably get going. I want to build these two uh, characters. Aren't you going to stay for the event? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll definitely be back for the big party. But I have some business to attend to in Rito first. Eesh, being a detective sounds busy. I got you running around all over the place. Oh, wait, Rito! Do you happen to know anything about a mystery Ninken that appeared during the war? Apparently, a lot of people in Rito were talking about it. Ah, the dog, yes. That was the inspiration behind this music festival, wasn't it? Shinobu told me all about it. Oh, never mind. Paima just thought a detective might have the inside scoop. I'm only speculating here, but from experience, I'd say it's probably just a local legend. I doubt the dog even exists. You seen the local legends in Fontaine? They absolutely destroy you. What's wrong? From the look on your face, you've got a vested interest in this situation. Thanks. Hm. Interesting. Well, since I'm going to Rito anyway, I can always ask around and see where it leads. How much do you charge for your services? <laughs> Don't be silly. If this matters to you, that's a good sign that it'll turn out to be something that interests me, too. <laughs> Stay tuned for more info. See you all soon. Yep. Adios. Oh. Seems like Doshin Shikanoin's quite the lone wolf. Well, I'd better get back to delivering these invitations. Gotta make sure the big party's a success. We shall help you with that, I think. In that case, guess it's time for us to get to work, too. Wonder how that checklist is coming along. Yep. Yeah, sorry to keep you waiting. Here's that list for you. If you can work your way through all this, we'll be back on track. Great! Perfect timing, Mr. Dvorak! We'll get on it right away! Thank you. I'm very grateful for your help. If you feel like flexing your musical muscles to take a break at any point, just come and find me in the Jam Zone. So, 
the jam zone. That's probably the first thing I'll check. Two. Unlocks in seven days, unlocks in one day. Buttons. The space bar the left click on the drum beat. I think that's calibration.
So this one would be... Am I right about that? Yeah, I would be right about that. Okay. Hello. Great. Before you get started, you'll want to... I did that. Hello. Would you like to practice some music? Great. I've been looking forward to hearing you play. Start with normal. During the performance, different notes will appear on the screen. When the note falls in the decision line, strike the decision line to score points. The amount of points scored. Hold up, hold up. I can't do this when it's on like this. Key findings. Be my optimal settings. I can get one, two, three here, but I want like my mouse button clicks to offset you or something. Or actually. struggling it's just Getting perfect, I don't care. Yeah. To be honest, this was my first attempt, so this is about 20 minutes later.
done. Oh, I'm gonna put my glasses back on. Ooh, nice completion rate. Hmm. Ah, uh, no, not all perfects, but okay. I had a lag spike and I'm still in the game. Nice. Nice. Ooh, it's a lot less. I think a while some my questions. Ten. Ten good again. Zero failed. I like seeing the zero fail. Let's begin. By the way, I'm playing by the way, I'm playing all of these with basically no sound. Uh, like with basically no vision, so it's like very blurry to me. Ah, uh, can I add like enough? Oh well, I'll I'll show it in the video what I see compared to everyone else. All right, bro. My glasses. Fail. Please, I didn't even pass the first part, please.
Alright, how are you? I'm gonna light up your map. How do I check you? How do I go to your map? How do I? Yeah. What's what's the code? Ah, there's sounds and yeah. invalid code. Oh, no, th there is a remove. There's no spaces. Oh, here we are. Let's try and perform this one, eh? Oh, oh, oh. What? What is <laughs> I can't do that, that's way too hard. Another one by you. Let's see if I can do this one. Nope. <laughs> what is this? What? The... I'm not trying. Did you actually complete this yourself? See, right?
clearly. I got a nine combo. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll perform again. They'll perform again. Right, let's check what this one is, eh? Another one. Is it the same thing? This is gonna play, I'm gonna get my mom to show her this. My mom's coming. I have that other one. This one right here. So. Oh, here it is. I'm not going to even attempt this. But look at this. You have to complete 90% of it. I can barely do three input tokens. Well, I don't seem to know how to play piano. Well, how each year one of my viewers um, made this. And you have to complete at least ninety percent of it. There are completions to count and there are beta testing. Is this all live? Yes, this is live. To show you what some people are capable of. And now this was the first one they sent. I haven't seen this one yet personally. I'm pretty sure all of them start with this. No. This one actually does look kind of easy. like really really good at living games but she sucks at it when it's on keyboard she's like extremely good at it when um uh when it's on phone if it's on a controller if it's on a touch screen just keyboard is out of the question even an old nintendo even an old nintendo thing you know, old Nintendo controllers, my mom's even good at doing rhythm things on them.
I have one of them old Nintendo controller things, and I have um played it. Played. Right, I'll attempt. Yeah, she's really good, but not controller. Uh, not, um, PC, keyboard. Easier than your ones, but still terrifying for me. Red mode. Oh, I think you're talking about that other option for like um the stuff. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know. Great. Spread mode. Probably, I don't know. I might not, or might be. Would you like to? No problem. I'll be here if you... Oh, this gives like a clear distinction between right and left. No. <laughs> I'm better with that Hello. during like that. Like um, practice some music. Oh, also, my mom's good at like the guitar beat one. Great. I've been looking. Like you know the three buttons and the strumming. The. Not good at all sorts of things. Just not. I like classic more. <clears throat> so yeah. I will leave the episode here. I might or might not be here tomorrow. Just in case for um, personal reasons. But I won't be here on Sunday. Uh, that is two days from now. So yeah. Um, I hope all of y'all enjoyed this video. I will make sure to continue this um, 
this event tomorrow. Um, uh, buttons aren't working or something. Have fun, take care. I uh, hope you take care too. I'll see you all in the next video. And you two people, you already know what time it is. Adios, see you next time.